Welcome to Live Well with Kidney Failure, brought to you by the National Kidney Foundation. In this video, you'll learn about hemodialysis, a treatment for kidney failure. We'll discuss what it is, how it is done, and we'll present some of the advantages and disadvantages of this type of treatment. There are two ways to treat kidney failure, dialysis and kidney transplant. To learn about a kidney transplant or peritoneal dialysis, which is another type of dialysis, watch the videos on those subjects. So, what is hemodialysis? It is a treatment that removes waste products and extra fluid from your blood, and it's often called HD, or hemo for short. During hemodialysis, your blood is pumped through soft tubes to a dialysis machine. Inside the machine, there's a special filter called a dialyzer, or artificial kidney. The artificial kidney allows waste and extra fluid to pass through while holding back important things, like blood cells and nutrients. As your blood is filtered, it is returned to your bloodstream. Only a small amount of blood, about a half a cup, is out of your body at any time. The whole process takes three to five hours. Most people need treatment at least three times a week. You will need to have an access, or entrance, to your bloodstream. This is done with minor surgery, usually to your arm. You will also have two needles inserted temporarily during each hemodialysis treatment to get blood into the hemodialysis machine. Hemodialysis can be done at home or in a dialysis center. To do hemodialysis at home, you'll need to set up your home for the machine and other equipment. You'll also need a care partner to help you and room for supplies. This is usually a family member or friend but may also be someone you hire to assist you. You and your care partner will receive special training on how to do your treatment safely. If you do hemodialysis at home, a dialysis center will arrange for the equipment and supplies. They will follow your treatments closely and see you when you come in for your checkups. You'll also be given a 24-hour telephone number in case of emergencies. There are many advantages to doing hemodialysis at home, some people feel it gives them more flexibility and that they're better able to fit it into their daily schedule. Or they might prefer being at home with family during treatments or not having to travel back and forth to a treatment center. In other words, some people feel it gives them a greater sense of control and independence. But there are other things to consider too. You must have a care partner to help you and enough space in your home for a machine, water, and supplies and you'll need to take charge of the machine itself, prepping it beforehand, cleaning it, storing it, and you'll need to monitor your own vitals during treatment. I'm a mother, I'm a wife. I teach Sunday school for almost 30 years now. When they told me I had to go on dialysis, I was introduced to the home hemodialysis. I wasn't prepared for how I was going to feel. I trained at uh, the center that taught us every aspect of the machine, what it does. Once I did that, I was confident. I don't think you could do it alone, so having a support team is really important. I asked two of my friends to help me, plus my husband does it on the weekends with me. So I feel like I have uh, a nice team that works with me. You could mess up unless you know what you're doing, but once you get in the swing of it, it gets easier and easier to do. Sometimes I, I get scared thinking I gotta do this until, you know, when, how long, forever maybe, but then I go back to that simple plan a day at a time, and that's what gets me through. I started working from home I'm delighted with that because I get to see my daughter during the day. Um, I get to work in, in a nice atmosphere. The quality of life is really wonderful. Dialysis is amazing because it functions as a body part, you know, outside of your body. And without that machine, I wouldn't be able to live. That's what it comes down to. There's things that you do have to work with, you have to give up, but what's, you know, the price? It's really, it's easy to give them up when you know that you're getting your life back. 
the inspiration I would give to someone else is don't give up. If you go to the classes and you think they're a little tough, everything gets easier. I have to say that I've learned to love it. I feel like I have a better lifestyle. No one would ever think I was sick if they didn't see my arm. I'm not really sick. I feel, I think of myself as a well person. If you put your mindset in the right place, you can do absolutely anything. I really believe that. The other choice is to do hemodialysis in a dialysis center. In a dialysis center, the staff takes care of the dialysis machine and monitors you throughout your treatment. Some people like the social aspect of being around other people who are getting treatment at the same time. But there are some drawbacks too. Treatment hours are scheduled by the center and may not fit your personal needs. You'll also need to travel to the dialysis center three times a week for treatment that lasts about three to four hours each time. Whatever your choice, at home or in a dialysis center, you will be working with a trained dialysis staff member to make sure you're receiving the right amount of hemodialysis. Blood tests will be done regularly to check on the amount of dialysis you receive and to help decide if any adjustments to your treatment are needed. I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. Before um, my kidneys failed, I used to surf a lot and I loved to dance and um, I used to run track for my school too. When I was like around 16, I remember one day I was making hot dogs in the kitchen and uh, I was picking up my hand was shaking. My mother was like, hey, Baron, you know your hand is shaking. I went and they took blood and two days later, the results came. The doctor said that your, your son's blood is so toxic that it could kill a horse. I got, I saw the treatment right away. I've been receiving dialysis for uh, over 26 years. I don't cut my treatment, you know, three times a week for 26 years. And uh, sometimes I don't want to go. And having a good technician next to you when he's there, he will know when I'm having a bad day. I walk and he could tell. And I could walk and I could tell he's having a bad day. So it's like, you know, I, I respect him, respects me, and that goes a long way. That's why staff is so important now. That I have a very good relationship with my treatment team, especially with the administrator. If I have a problem, she's very uh, proactive. When you go to a good treatment center and you have good nurses, you have good doctors, you have good technicians, and you take care of that and you go home. And yeah, you can get good home treatment, but for me personally, I want to leave that aside and I don't matter where you want to come home to it. It's tough, but sometimes that's the only time that is peace of mind. No one's bothering you. I got my days, man. I got my days, it's tough. For me, the, the keeping positive is ready to fight. I love a challenge. If I know there's somewhere I can fight for, I love that. That's why I try to keep positive, you know. Hemodialysis does a good job in filtering out waste products and extra fluid, but it can't completely take over the work of healthy kidneys. For these other jobs, you'll need to take different medicines and control the foods you eat and the amount of fluids you drink. A dietitian can work with you to create a meal plan that takes into account your general health, any medicines you take, and what you and your family like to eat. You may need to take medicine to control your blood pressure, help keep your bones strong, and help your body make red blood cells. Taking all your medicines, as instructed, is very important. If you choose hemodialysis, you can still be evaluated for a transplant or peritoneal dialysis later on. Many people experience different treatments for their kidney failure throughout their life. As your needs change over time, so can your treatment. Before we close, let's do a quick review. Hemodialysis uses a machine and an artificial kidney to remove waste products and extra fluids from the blood. It is usually done at least three times a week for several hours. You will need a special access that must be surgically placed in your arm to allow your blood to flow out of the dialysis machine and back during treatment. Hemodialysis can be done at a dialysis center or at home. Whether you do hemodialysis at home or in a center, you will have a dedicated healthcare team working with you and your family to give you the best care possible. Please read the companion booklet to this video. You can also learn more about hemodialysis by asking your healthcare team or contacting the National Kidney Foundation at 1-855-NKF-CARES 
or www.kidney.org.